second half of the FIA Formula 3 European Championship starts in an amazing location on the North Sea coast of the Netherlands. This is Sandford, surrounded by sand dunes. This is an old school track that separates the men from the boys. Our points leader is Lance Stroll from Canada. Since the last Formula 3 race, some of our young guns have been keeping themselves busy. Russia's Nikita Mazepan did a Formula 1 test for Force India last week in Silverstone and also on track at the home of British motor racing, Sergio Setti Camara, the Brazilian racking up 81 laps for Toro Rosso. Coming to Sanford hot off his first win of the season is Antoine Hubert. The Frenchman claimed two podiums at the last race weekend. Let's find out a little bit more about him. Hello, I'm Anthony Bear from France. I'm 19 years old um, and I'm racing in uh, Formula 3 with Vietnam Sport Racing. I started my career in go-kart at 7 years old and I raced go-kart until uh, I was 16. I finished two times third in the World Championship. Then I moved to Formula Racing in 2013 in French F4 and I won this championship. Uh, then I did two years in uh, Euro Cup Formula Rado and this year I'm racing in F3 with Van Sport. Uh, my biggest supporters are of course my family, especially my dad which is following me since uh, the beginning. Um, then my partners, the French Federation, the Group La Miro Automobile. And um, last, um, the Van der Sport crew uh, this year is uh, supporting me a lot. Uh, my biggest idol, I think, is Sebastian Loeb. Uh, I've always, always been uh, a big fan of rally. My dad was doing rally, so I've always followed rally. And his French is one nine, nine times the World Championship, so that's why he's my idol. Um, my favorite track is Po. Uh, I've raced there twice and I won twice, so I really like it. And I also like a lot of Spa and Silverstone. Sanford is very much a home race for Antoine Hubert's team, Van Amersfoort Racing, which was founded in 1975. They are proudly Dutch. Uh, sleeping at home, that's the only track where I can sleep at home, so I do that, yes. It's always nice to go to your own track and yeah, it feels like my back garden, like it's really home, so that's really good. Normally we go out once, uh, once an evening and we go eat something on the beach, that's really the good thing on the beach, you can eat quite good on the beach and you, over here you have good fish, really good fish and uh, yeah, that's I think the most important what you can eat here. It's quite local, a lot of locals over here and people like to go with the children, uh, watch race cars, sitting in a dune, drinking some fish and eating some fish and they really love to be here. And I think it's quite open for people to come here on the track also. Hello, my name is Joel Eriksson and at the moment we are in Sanford for round six. And overall the track is really small and really tight and that means it's really hard to overtake on the track. So the qualifying is going to be really, really important uh, for the race weekend. Um, and let's see how the, how the track is, uh, looks like in my cockpit behind the, behind the steering wheel. So now we start the start finish line where we have the top speed around 240 k's. The braking point is at 50 meters per It's really important to stay on the inside to use the banking of the corner. And now we're coming to corner two. Normally we don't use everything on the, on the exit to open up corner 3. And corner 3, you really need to, to keep the car on the inside to use the banking and then in, on the exit use everything. There's uh, wide curbs and uh, wide uh, extra tops, so it's, so it's easy. So now we're coming to a straight and uh, now we're coming to the quickest corner of the track. Really, really long corner and um, really important to have as much as throttle, throttle as possible. And now we co we're now we coming to, uh, to uh, corner 6. Here we use the inside as much as possible and then the exit as well. But uh, we, we really have to uh, stay, stay open for the, for the next corner to open up the exit to have, a, to have a proper run out of the corner. So now we're coming to the, to the chicane. Breaking point at, at 100 meters board. Fire the car in as much as possible, but then make sure you have a good exit of the chicane. So now we're coming to the last corner, breaking at 50 meter. Use everything on the inside over the curb and make sure you have a proper exit to get the slipstream of the, the guy in front. 
That was the left for me and keep the finger crossed for me over the weekend. Unfortunately, not the best of the qualifying sessions for the Swedish rookie. He's picked up three podiums already this season, though, but he'll start race one from 12th position. At the front of the grid, it is a first ever pole position in FIA Formula 3 European Championship for Kiwi Nick Cassidy. I did a fantastic job yesterday in the Quali 1, he did an amazing lap. He deserved the pole position and having the three cars of premium top three uh, position is also very, very good. We're just looking forward to a great race today. First pole for Nick Casti then. You can see he's already tipping the car down towards the inside line to try and shut off teammate Max Gunter from the front row. Lance Stroll, the third of the Prima Power cars, starting in third. The championship leader sweeps around the outside. Nick Cassidy in second place. Max Gunter, though, loses another spot as Alessio Lorandi goes by him up into third place. So take a look. Max Gunter on the inside. Gets squeezed all the way across by Nick Cassidy. Watch from the outside line, car number one, Lance Stroll. Around the outside in Tarzan is always the way to go. Stroll making an epic start to take the lead and leave his teammates to battle with their rivals. Max Gunter under pressure from car number six, Van, Amersfoort, uh, Von Amersfoort's Callum Eilot. It's the battle for fourth position. Gunter running a little wide, losing traction. Eilert off track as well. That drops him further back, and he now comes into the clutches of Nico Kari, the Finn in the motor park car. Eilert trying to break the toe down the straight, inside line into Tarzan. And again, around the outside. Good effort from Nico Kari. Didn't quite have the overlap or maybe the confidence. Callum Eilert hangs on. Once you get out around the back, the tight, twisty track flows. It's fast, but it's hard to pass. And take a look again here as Callum Eilert takes the inside run into Tarzan. Can't quite get the overlap he needs. On the bank corner, Max Gunter's momentum keeps him in front. Lonely race for race leader Lance Stroll, building his lead to over eight seconds. Behind him, Nick Casti battling with Alessio Lorandi. And as they continue to squabble, a leader getting further away. 21 laps in. Callum Eilert starting to close on Maxi Gunter. Shaking off Nico Kari, leaving him to deal with George Russell and Ryan Tvita, who's closing in from behind. Little mistake from Maxi Gunter. Callum Eilert getting his nose right inside. Piling on the pressure as they sweep out around this sand dune line circuit. Number eight, David Beckman battling against Sergio Sete Camara in the number nine machine for the 10th place and the final point. At the final corner, Lance Stroll heading towards the chequered flag. Win number six of the season for the Prima Power Team driver. And some while later, teammate Nick Cassidy will come across the line in second place. Alessio Lorandi taking third for Carlin. Blustery conditions out on the dunes. That often changes the track conditions during the race, blowing the sand in. Lesia Lorandi claiming third, then Nick Cassidy in second, but our race winner, Lance Stroll. I got a really good start, and then he moved over to, to defend Maxi. And uh, yeah, I went for the late braking around the outside. It worked, and then from there, I, you know, I had a really good pace, and I was able to pull away and uh, 
yeah, smooth race from, from then on. OK, the start was good. I defended the wrong way. Obviously, uh, didn't pay enough attention to the outside, but I think that's maybe a rookie mistake of Zambor. The rest of the race, I just really tried to manage the tyres because it's unbelievable how much you were tyres in this track, such a long race. And yeah, just tried to get to the end with the same place, you know. It was really difficult to overtake, so I was, you know, just staying there. I was all right. Well, drama then for Lance Stroll. His poles from the second qualifying session cancelled. Non-conforming parts on the car. Um, human error, but uh, these things happen. Well, will he be able to score points from the back of the grid in races two and three? And which Prima driver will take up the mantle? Stay with us. Round six of the FIA Formula 3 European Championship of the Sandsoon, San Dunes of Zanvoort on the Dutch North Sea coast. It's the ideal combination of beach life and racing life. A special atmosphere at this track. That's why Formula 3 keeps coming back. For the drivers, it's all about winning, about performance, about preparation. Most of them then have physical coaches for improving their mental strength and their fitness to be ready for the stresses and strains of a racing car. Well, not everywhere in the Canada has such ideal conditions for training and fitness as the beach at Sanford right next to the track. Premier driver Maxi Gunter prepares with his coach Manny. Now Maxi has begun the exercise and what's the most important thing with coordination is that he gets in his mood and the brain is working right with the body. I'm doing the job with Maxi since four years. We're working three, four times a week. Uh, Maxi does some of the uh, trainings by, itself, by himself, um, some other trainings I'm doing with him. And um, where he needs me, I'm at him. We try to uh, make Max uh, as physical as possible, uh, that he can do this step in Formula 3 European uh, Championship and perhaps the next steps wherever it goes. And short, 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 fast, come on, and do it. And eyes shut, shut the eyes, and go. Yes, okay, one more time. On, eyes shut, go, yes. Endurance is a very, very, very important uh, thing in the whole package of the training, uh, but endurance is only one part of it. Our relationship is uh, fantastic. I would say we are best friends. You have to trust uh, the people around you. Of course, I've got my racing team, but with uh, my Fusio money, um, yeah, I've got a, a very important person uh, at the racetrack. Um, I trust him. He's, he's always there prepares me and um, yeah it's it's just very important to yeah have a good relationship with your guys perfectly prepared then we're looking forward to race two but after Lance Stroll's qualifying disaster he's at the back with incorrect technical parts yeah, fitted the to the car, the car uh, yesterday morning and unfortunately we haven't do the right check to before mounting and that was totally our fault and it's a pity for Lance because he did a fantastic, amazing second quality where he did two pole and that was all on him and not for sure on the part we mounted. Dimensions need to be dimensions um, and uh, it was a mistake, um, human error, but uh, these things happen and uh, we, you know, we, we have to keep our head up and uh, keep pushing. No pole for Prima then. Callum Eilert from Van Amersfoort on pole, but doesn't make the grace to get away. Nick Casti alongside him on row one, takes the inside track. Behind Maxi Gunter as Cassidy eases his way inside Callum Eilert. Kiwi takes the lead. Maxi Gunter also comes alongside the Van Amersfoort driver, and he too gets by. Callum Eilert from pole to third in two corners. Watch the back of the field as well. Lance Stroll making a good getaway, picks off a couple away from the grid and looks to the outside as the leaders tangle. He sweeps around the outside once more. But drifts out too wide and loses traction on the dirt.
Ritz Van Amersfoort, boss of Van Amersfoort Racing. Watching the action on the monitors. Nick Casti leading Maxi Gunn to second and Van Amersfoort's boy Callum Eilert in third position. A long way further back, Lance Stroll trying to pick up places. Having a little dive at Sergio Setti Camara. Camara also at the back of the grid. His car failed an engine vacuum test, meaning that the restrictor box was leaking. They're battling for 17th place. Nico Kari of Finland, finding out that under the grass there is plenty of sand. Not an awful lot of traction there. Before the end of the race, Lance Stroll heading into the pits with mechanical problems on the car. And bringing an end to his participation in race two. Callum Eilert, Callum Eilert third for Prima Power Team as Nick Cassidy manages the gap to his teammate Maxi Gunter. Leading through the S's on the final lap. Callum Eilert in third place, not quite able to catch uh, the uh, Prima Power Team drivers in front. Couple of spots of water in the air, but nothing on the ground. Nothing to worry, Nick Cassidy. Got jumped to the start of race one. Didn't make the same mistake in race two. And the Kiwi claims victory. His first win in the Formula 3 European Championship. Teammate Maxi Gunter claiming second. Holman Callum Eilert in third place ahead of Antoine Hubert. Rounding out the top half dozen, Alessio Lorandi and Ralph Aaron. But our winner, Nick Cassidy. Firstly, I must say it's well overdue. <laughs> Secondly, I'm over the moon because you know we've had fantastic pace all weekend we've qualified really well been been quick and so it was a victory on merit the start was uh, definitely the key in this race so i yeah had a really good start off the line uh, gained a bit of yeah gap to the to the guys in front of me and yeah i decided to go to the inside because i, I thought it's it's going to be the quicker one and yeah finally i i got uh Kayum in the Kayum in the first First corner, which was, yeah, of course, very good. There was P2 then. At the end of the day, podium's not a bad position, but it's not where I really wanted to be. Uh, I wanted to be top step, but get what you're given. Two races, two wins for Prema, and race three has Prema's Maxi Gunter on pole. Back in Zanfall with the FIA European Championship for Formula 3. Time again to catch up with the drivers in the autograph session. Great chance for the opportunity, uh, opportunity for the fans to meet the stars of the future. Guys, they've been watching all weekend. And as they come to the grid for the third and final race, still a long way from the front. Lance Stroll, the championship leader. Drops to the back of the grid after a mistake by the team in qualifying two with teammate Maxi Gunter on pole. Sunny day by the seaside at Sanford, 25 degrees temperature. Maxi Gunter on pole position from teammate Nick Cassidy. Lance Stroll with a win in race one. Nick Cassidy winning in race two. Is it time for Polman Gunter to put his Premier Power Team car on the top step of the podium? David Beckman, the Muka Motorsport driving youngster, German rookie just 16 years old, moves up to third position. Maxi Gunter gets a great start to take the lead of the race. And David Beckman battling with Alessio Lorandi for the third position. Prima Power team producing superb speed and reliability all season long, and this is no different. Leaders pulling away. Take a look again at the start. Max Gunter in the number 17 car, covering off Nick Cassidy. Nobody making a run around the outside as young David Beckman grabs third place. Lance Stroll 
again starting from the back of the grid didn't make such good progress away this time drops back to the tail of the field to give himself some clean air aiming to get the fastest lap of the race if you can't get points at the sharp end try and get as many bonus points as possible you can see the plan working well gave himself plenty of clear air maxi gunter safely ahead of nick cassidy third place number eight david beckman fourth alessio lorandi fifth position behind him george russell and then Callum Eilert for Van Amersfoort. Cars streaming out around the circuit, but spreading out around the circuit as well. Unable to make much impression on each other. They drop about half a second behind or more because of the aerodynamic slipstream. David Beckman on his own in third place. Alessio Lorandi safely clear of George Russell, Callum Eilert. Trouble for Weyron Tan, Malaysian driver in the barrier after a rookie error at Zanfort. Gets onto the dirt finds that there is very little grip on the grass. Well, car damage, but he is uninjured. Begins the long walk back to the pits. Meanwhile, Max Gunter controlling the gap over Nick Cassidy. Cassidy making a final charge, but not able to do much about his teammate out front. Maxi Gunter heading towards win number three of the season. Check a flag out as he leads the Prima 1 2, Nick Cassidy in second. And David Beckman claiming third place, the 16 year old German. Um, hold, hold my position and did some, I think, also quite good laps. The man behind me was slower, so um, yeah, it was a great, great race. We had the top points, we had a second, first, second, best weekend of the year. Uh, but today, yeah, it, it was uh, the, the team result. Uh, Spa Franco Show is one of the best tracks in the, in the calendar, so yeah, I'm really much looking forward to it. Um, also there we just look from race to race, um, well I mean here we, we want to race, always my, my goal is to, to win yeah, as many races as possible. So victory for Max Gunter to round out the weekend. Max Gunter remains second in the points to Lance Stroll with a 53 point lead as they head towards Spa.